Good morning students. Today you are having the test of listening. Write down the date. Test. Listening. Into your exercise books. Our test consists of two tasks. Task 1. There are 12 questions in this task. You will see three pictures. Looking at them, you listen to the text. Choose a picture which is suitable to the text and write a necessary letter near the number of the question. Each text will be read twice. Number 1. Some musicians perform together in a group. There are about 90 musicians in it. The conductor keeps them in time. They usually play classical music. Some musicians perform together in a group. There are about 90 musicians in it. The conductor keeps them in time. They usually play classical music. Number 2. On this continent, you can see the different countries. Some countries are tiny. Others, such as Brazil, are huge. On this continent, you can see the different countries. Some countries are tiny. Others, such as Brazil, are huge. Number 3. The world's biggest rainforest grows along the banks of the Amazon River in the South America. The forest is about the same size as Australia. The world's biggest rainforest grows along the banks of the Amazon River in the South America. The forest is about the same size as Australia. Number 4. Some lakes are filled with salty water. The Dead Sea between Israel and Jordan is so salty that you can float in it and read. Some lakes are filled with salty water. The Dead Sea between Israel and Jordan is so salty that you can float in it and read. Number 5. Sometimes huge amounts of ice and snow break loose and crash down a mountainside. The snow can bury people and even whole villages in its path. Sometimes huge amounts of ice and snow break loose and crash down a mountainside. The snow can bury people and even whole villages in its path. Number 6. Modern British artist Henry Moore used bold shapes to create this interesting and touchable giant stone sculpture. Modern British artist Henry Moore used bold shapes to create this interesting and touchable giant stone sculpture. Number 7. Putting on a play is a long task. First, the playwright writes a play, then actors bring the story and the characters in the play to life. They also have to remember their words. Putting on a play is a long task. First, the playwright writes a play, then actors bring the story and the characters in the play to life. They also have to remember their words. Number 8 
Puppet shoes are a very old type of theater. These glove puppets are simple to work. A hand inside makes the puppet move. One finger works the puppet's head, while two other fingers work the arms. Puppet shoes are a very old type of theater. These glove puppets are simple to work. A hand inside makes the puppet move. One finger works the puppet's head, while two other fingers work the arms. Number 9. Scientists use them to explore the ocean floor and look for sunken ships. They have discovered features and animals never seen before. Scientists use them to explore the ocean floor and look for sunken ships. They have discovered features and animals never seen before. Number 10. Magma is melted rock under the earth's crust. Sometimes it bursts through an opening in the crust. Lots of ash and dust shoot out too. Magma is melted rock under the earth's crust. Sometimes it bursts through an opening in the crust. Lots of ash and dust shoot out too. Number 11. When two pieces of the Earth's crust slide past each other, the ground shakes from side to side. This can split and crack the ground and break up roots. When two pieces of the Earth's crust slide past each other, the ground shakes from side to side. This can split and crack the ground and break up roots. Number 12. It is made from ancient plants that live millions of years ago. It is a fuel for the power stations and houses. It is found in thick layers underground. It is made from ancient plants that live millions of years ago. It is a fuel for the power stations and houses. It is found in thick layers underground. Now you'll have task 2. You are going to listen to the text twice. After that, you'll read 12 sentences. Your task is to write true if the information is correct and false if you don't agree with the information at the number of the sentence. London is famous as a city where businessmen carry umbrellas and wear bowler hats almost like a uniform. But do you know how the umbrella came to England? The word umbrella is Italian, meaning a little shade. The Italians didn't invent the umbrella. However, it was used many centuries ago in the East as a protection against the sun. In England, it was used more as a protection against the rain. And the first man to appear in the streets of London with an umbrella more than a hundred and fifty years ago was Jonas Hanway. But the first umbrella user didn't have an easy time. He got into trouble with coachmen. They didn't want people to use umbrellas in rainy weather. They wanted them to ride in their coaches. But the Londoners were so grateful to Janice Hanway that when he died, 
They erected a monument to his memory in Westminster Abbey, where it may still be seen to this day. London is famous as a city where businessmen carry umbrellas and wear bowl hats almost like a uniform. But do you know how the umbrella came to England? The word umbrella is Italian, meaning a little shade. The Italians didn't invent the umbrella. However, it was used many centuries ago in the East as a protection against the sun. In England, it was used more as a protection against the rain. And the first man to appear in the streets of London with an umbrella more than 150 years ago was Jonas Hanway. But the first umbrella user didn't have an easy time. He got into trouble with coachmen. They didn't want people to use umbrellas in rainy weather. They wanted them to ride in their coaches. But the Londoners were so grateful to Janice Hanway that when he died, they erected a monument to his memory in Westminster Abbey, where it may still be seen to this day. So, you may do task number two and write true or false. Our test is over. Goodbye. See you.